Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to write a C++ program to implement the arithmetic operators using two operands. Once again, I repeat the topic, how to write a C++ program to implement the arithmetic operators using two operands. In order to achieve this task, let me explain the program first. I will show you how to execute the program. So the program starts with the preprocessor hash followed by the keyword input and IO stream, where INO stands for input and output using as a keyword namespace is a logical naming schema for grouping related classes. And STD stands for standard, so integer main. So int stands for the return type integer. Main is a main method. It's also called as entry point of a program. In this program, I've declared two variables, namely A and B or float data type. I'm going to print a message using C out statement, enter the value for A and B. So now user will provide two values. The first value I'm going to store it in A, and second value I'm going to store it in B using C in statement. Now I want to perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication and division operations. So I'm going to use C out statement, I'm going to print A plus B, and then I'm going to perform addition. Then I'm going to print A minus B using C out statement, then I'm going to perform subtraction. Then I'm going to print a multiplied by B using C out statement, and I'm going to perform A multiplied by B, and then followed by A divided by B. Once again, I explain the program. The program starts with the preprocessor hash followed by the keyword include and I was stream where I and was stands for input and output streams. Using is a keyword namespace is a logical naming schema for grouping related classes. STD is a standard followed by int main, where int is a return type. Main is a main method. It's an entry point of a program. I've declared two variables, namely A and B of flow data type. So I'm using uh, CL to print a message. Enter values for A and B. User will provide two values. First value, I'm going to store it in A, and second value, I'm going to store it in B with help of C in statement. Then I'm going to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division operations using C out statements. So now how to execute the program. Today I'm going to show you two methods. One is by using Eclipse Editor and other one is by using online compilers. So first, we are going to use Eclipse Editor. How to open the Eclipse Editor? Just double click the Eclipse Editor icon at the desktop in order to open it. When you double click the icon, it will take you to Eclipse ID launcher where you want to select the default workspace. If you wish to change the workspace, you are allowed to do so by using the option browse or else just hit launch in order to use the default workspace. So when you hit on launch, it will take you to an IDE. It's called as integrated development environment. So, so after typing the program, just click on execute in order to execute the program. So now, so so now we are going to open a new C and C++ project. So how to open a new C and C++ project? Just go to File. Now you can see A plus B new. A minus B equal to Select C and C++ A multiplied by B Once again, go to File. A divided by B equal to new. Click on C and C++ project. When you click on C and C++ project, it takes you to new C and C++ project window in which you want to select C++ manage build. Click Next. When you click next, it will take you to C++ project window where you have to provide the project name, or a CEX1. Then I'm going to use hello world C++ project, and then you want to choose min GWDCC and click finish. So now this is the area where we are going to work with Okay, so now here I'm going to change. So first I'm going to declare the variables and data type, let's say A and B. Then I'm going to use C out statement. Let's say enter A and B values. Then close the line by using statement terminator going to get the values by using C in first value I'm going to store it in A second value I'm going to store it in B 
Now I'm going to perform the addition operation. Let us say A plus B equal to then I want to add A plus B and and the end of the line. So now I'm going to copy this line. How to copy? Select this Control C and Control V to paste. Then I'm going to change the operator minus and then this is multiplied. Change the operator and then last A divided by B. Finish. So this thing, okay? Okay. So here you can see the operators. If you want to use this operators, you need two operands, A and B or operands, see? A and B or operands. And plus, minus, uh, multiplied by, divided by, these are called as operators. So once you finish your program, go to File, Save it first. So just click Save in order to save the program. And then go to Project to build the project in order to ensure that your project is free from bugs or errors. Now see, build finish, zero errors and zero one. It means that your program is free from bugs and errors. Then you want to run the program, just go to run and click run. And click on local C and C++ application and click OK. So enter A and B values. So provide two values, let's say 10 and then 20, hit enter. Now you can see A plus B equal to 30, A minus B equal to minus 10, A multiplied B is 200, A divided by B is 0 0.5. Now we have completed task number one. So we have used the Eclipse editor and we typed the program, we saved it, we executed it. So next step is we are going to execute the same program using an online compiler. So in order to reach the online compiler, I need a any web browser. Just use any web browser. And I'm going for google.com. Then I'm going to type jdoodle. jdoodle.com is an online compiler. And click on C++. So it will take you to online C++ compiler IDE. So here, we are going to change our program. The program starts with data type floats. I'm going to declare two variables in the A and B. And then I'm going to print a statement using C out. That is enter A and B values. And close the line by using statement terminator. Then I'm going to store the first value in A and second value in B by using C in statement. Then I'm going to print A plus B is equal to, that is, A plus B. Then, I'm going for end of, end of the line. Then I will copy this in order to save the time. Then I will change the operator A minus B. And here also I will change the operator A minus B. And then followed by A multiplied by B, then A multiplied by B. And again, Control C for copy and Control V to paste. Then last one is A divided by B, and this one is A divided by B. After typing the program, just click on Execute in order to execute the program. So now provide the A and B values, let us say 10 and 20, hit Enter. Now you can see A plus B equal to 30, A minus B equal to 10, and A multiplied by B equal to 200, A divided by B is 0 0.5. This is how you want to use online compilers. I think you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching this video.